Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. Our story here is regarding Disney releasing the new Thor Love and Thunder trailer that has Marvel fans all up in arms over a supposed romance between Chris Pratt's character and Chris Hemsworth character. And they're getting this not just out of nowhere, folks. There is a clip here from the trailer that seems to imply that there is going to be some sort of gay romance between the two characters. Now, I beg to differ, but before we get into that, let's go ahead and watch this clip together. Look into the eyes of the people that you love. Not me. What? Just listening. Yes, folks, that is the scene that everybody is getting all up in arms about because they had a little bit of a joke between Chris Pratt's character and Chris Hemsworth's character. And if anybody had seen their prior engagements from the movies, this stuff happens all the time. There's almost like an awkward bromance between these two characters. I personally don't think that Chris Pratt's character is going to be gay. I don't think Chris Hemsworth's character is going to be gay. It would be a massive curveball, and they'd have to do a lot of explaining because Chris Pratt likes somebody in his series. Chris Hemsworth dated Natalie Portman in his series, or at least there was a love interest there. So this would be a massive curveball for two main lead characters in the Marvel series. So I think that the Marvel fans are going a little bit too far with this little clip. I look at it as a bromance, something that's kind of funny. It's supposed to be a comedic relief. Oh, haha, Thor likes Chris Pratt or something along those lines. I'm not taking it too serious here. Now, I can't blame them at the same time for being upset with it and the possibility of them having a gay relationship because of what Disney's trying to do by increasing 50% of their films to show or have a lead of an LGBTQ plus elemental P alphabet soup character. Now that's coming from actual execs inside Disney. We did a video on that all but a couple weeks ago. So I understand where they're coming from and I understand that they're going, well, shoot, if they're sitting there pushing this stuff out there, transgender, the stuff in the education system in Florida, if they have secret videos behind the scenes that were released and leaked about them trying to push main characters to be gay or to be trans or to be queer or pansexual, whatever it may be, I understand where they're coming from as fans. But the Daily Wire here says, Twitter users quickly share their suspicions of what the scene could signify after the trailer was released. They describe the scene as Thor's gay awakening and celebrate the concept of a mainstream Marvel superhero being openly gay. Well, you have the director here gets hold of the pen and suddenly Thor is gay now. Incredible, one Twitter user wrote in a viral tweet. Others credited Love and Thunder's director, Takia, and I'm mispronouncing his name, forgive me, a uh, famous guy, I should know how to say his name, uh, with masterminding the change in direction for both characters. Forbes made a case for why Thor and Star-Lord could have a romantic relationship in this film, citing examples, telling same-sex love stories in other projects, uh, and it lists those projects there. And they had gay storylines, the, uh, the writers argued, then why can't the new Marvel movie have that as well? Well, again, I just got done displaying that they've already had their love interests. So, the only way they could really be gay, I guess, is to be bisexual. Like, they like both men and women. I don't know. It, it seems kind of strange. I mean, I guess Chris Pratt's character would be something out there other than maybe being gay since his love interest was technically an alien, I guess. I'm going and breaking this down way too far, folks. I don't think it's the case. I think they're both straight. But let's finish the story here. Thor has also been gay, guys. Uh, just made it more obvious. I don't think so. Anyone says Thor isn't gay is a homophobic denial. Okay. All righty. We get these leftists and these progressives out there, and I haven't seen this yet, so this is my first time reading it. Just because you don't think that they're gay does not mean you're homophobic, okay? And there's this main push by the left of anytime you say something about a gay person, a queer person, a trans person, and it doesn't go along with their narrative, all of a sudden, a sudden you're, you're, you're phobic or you have a phobia of them or something of that nature, right? You saw them push this with Trump when, when he said something about China. It's China. Okay, it's Wuhan. COVID-19 came out of a lab. Okay. And, and then he's, uh, he's saying that they're uh, xenophobic, right? They call them xenophobic and all these things. So just because you don't go along with their narrative, all of a sudden you're racist, right? You're xenophobic. You know, you're, you're homophobic and all these things, right? The left have lost their mind. And you know what? That's why people are outraged, because they think that the left would actually do something like this. They think that the left would be crazy enough to flip these characters right over to a completely 180 from going from liking women to now liking men in a matter of like one film. And you know what? Marvel could do it. It's very possible that this is true. It's very possible 
that Chris Pratt, Chris Hemsworth character is going to have a gay relationship now. Turns out they're bi or something like that. Oh, we all didn't see it. We all missed it. Huh? <laughs> That's the big spin between Star-Lord and Thor is that they're gay, folks. It just took about four films on each side to do it. Massive franchises. And it's not about the story, folks. It's all about that they're gay. It was a huge flip. So <laughs> they could be doing that. I don't know. Well, while it's not confirmed that Pratt and Hemsworth characters will have a homosexual relationship, it would be on brand for Marvel. The company introduced a gay Captain America for Pride Month in June 2021. The Daily Wire originally reported. Marvel also voiced their opposition to Florida's parental rights bill that we talked about just most recently. We've done a lot of videos on it as well. And they call it the don't say gay bill. If you recall, it doesn't say the word gay anywhere in there. Quote, we strongly denounce any and all legislation that infringes on the basic human rights of the LGBTQIA+. Now, what's interesting was I just did a story recently where Joe Biden didn't include the A in the plus at the end, or at least the A. And I said, well, why, why did he include the I? It just keeps going. That's why we call it alphabet soup. Who knows where it actually ends? Quote, Marvel Studios stands for hope, inclusivity, and strength. And we proudly stand with the community. Today, we pledge to continue our strong commitment as allies who promote the values of equality, acceptance, and respect. According to the New York Post, the Love and Thunder storyline will focus on Thor discovering who he truly is while traveling space with the Guardians of the Galaxy. The trailer teases Russell Crowe's debut as Zeus and Natalie Portman returning to the franchise for the first time since 2013 to play Jane Foster, who Thor once had a relationship with. Her inclusion could be the end of Thor goes gay rumors, but so far, nothing is off the table. And again, I think before, if Disney wasn't pushing all this, this queer, trans, gay stuff, I think a lot of people would just kind of dismiss it and be like, oh yeah, it actually is a joke. It's just something that's funny. It's a little bit of a bromance. It was like an awkward scene between them two and it makes everybody laugh for that comedic relief. But now with Disney pushing all this stuff, everyone's like, is it going to happen? Are they going to destroy this like they did Star Wars? Are they going to destroy this like they've done with other franchises by pushing this LGBTQ stuff right down our throats and in our faces? So I don't know. It deba uh, deba wow. Deba it debuts. It's not like Joe Biden here for a moment slash Jen Psaki. It debuts in theaters Friday, July 8th. With that being said, folks, thank you so much for always watching the Ball Brad Show. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with your friends and family all over social media. And folks, I will see you later here on the Ball Brad Show.